Hello and welcome to this um, tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to put um, some moving text into a video, which is exactly what I've done on my Facebook banner video here. Um, except in this tutorial, I won't have the photo underneath it because I forgot when I made it. So I apologize for that. So you want to create a new template and select the video option. And create a, click on create video timeline and you'll get this bar here. Uh, I'm going to fill the background in black just because um, I prefer to work with a, a black background but you can leave it as white or you can choose any other colour you like. Um, next thing you need to do is uh, using Windows Explorer just browse to the photos you want to use and uh, left click and drag it into, the, into Photoshop and it will place it like this where you can expand the image. Uh, hit return and it will render the image like that. So I want to split this image so fucking comes in from the left and photos comes in from the right. So to do this I selected the marquee tool and hold uh, the left mouse button down and select the area you want to cut out and then release the mouse button. Then use Ctrl and X on a Windows computer or Command X on a Mac to cut the layer and Ctrl V on a PC or Command V on a Mac to paste it. So I want to move fucking, like I said, over to the left. So select the layer with it on and drag it over to its starting position just off screen. But click on the little down arrow next to layer and click on position. This will insert a keyframe. I think of keyframes like waypoints. You have a start position and you have an end position. Sometimes, depending on what you want your image to do, you will have positions in between. So then move your cursor along the timeline at the top and then drag the image into its end position and click on position again. This will insert a second keyframe. This allows the image to move from one keyframe to the next. So I'm just going to expand out the timeline here because I think it's a little bit too short. And I will do the same thing with the second image. So again, drag it over to its starting position. Move the, the cursor along the timeline at the top. Move the image to its final position. And click on position to insert a new keyframe. Okay, I think that's just about in position. Yep, that's all lined up nicely. So I think I've actually made this a little bit too long. I'm just going to shorten down the, uh, the timeline. I think it needs to be five seconds. So it's, it's the beginning and you can see it's coming in there. Yeah. Now that's a little bit too slow. So I'm just going to zoom in. Fortunately, you can't see my zoom at the bottom here. Um, so I think I'll probably want it uh, about that position. So I'm going to just rename this so I know which one it is, it's fucking, and I'll rename the next one to photos. And select the top layer again, and you can actually drag and move the keyframes. So I want to move the end position for fucking and the start position for photos, and then move along and drag the end position for photos. Now it's a bit quicker, <clears throat> but I still think it's a little bit too slow. So I'm going to zoom in again. And I think I'll you know knock it down by another half a second everything so move everything along half a second and hopefully that will be the correct speed yeah it looks a lot better so next I want to insert some audio so I've got a swooshing sound so if you click on the little audio track and click on add audio you can browse to the file you want so I've got a swoosh I want to add a bit of bass where the two words meet. So again, uh, if you right click on audio and click on add new, new audio track, you create a second one. And then click on the little down arrow and select the import audio and select the file. So when I try to move them here, it moved both the video layer and the audio layer. I don't really know why it did that. So just make sure you select, click on one layer you want to move. So I want to move the audio track to this position. Okay, that 
looks about right. You just need to then just shorten down the audio tracks. Get them uh, in line with the end of the video. Or else you'll have loads of dead pixels at the end, which is not what you want. <coughs> As I said, I forgot to put the photo in the background on this, but all you have to do is add a new video layer and import the image. Just make sure it's at the bottom, but above the audio. Okay, this all looks right. So, let's have a play. So I've decided that um, after the two words have met, I want a few seconds, an extra second, of the uh, whole fucking photos together and um, so it's not over too quickly so I'm just going to expand out um, both video parts here but leave the audio as it is So all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of um, black fade out to both layers. So just left click on fade, uh, fade with black and then drag it over them. And that's it. And then you go to file, uh, export and render video. And then you're left with something that looks like this. Okay, thanks for watching.